So I have a 2013 Ford Explorer and this customer gave the vehicle to their husband and the husband knows somebody that he trusts to do the brakes that have their own independent shop. Now this is not trashing independent shops because independent shops typically do really freaking good work man. They're some of the smartest guys that I've ever met. But this guy at this independent shop really messed this vehicle up. Now I went through and did front brakes and rotors about a month ago because they came in squealing and getting hot to the point where you can see I got all new hardware and stuff in here now they're making no noise at all it's actually in really 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 good shape when I go over here and I'm looking and I can see how chocolate and burned up those that rotor face is and then I go over here and I look this pad is locked up into the face of this rotor so bad that it doesn't even want to move I had to pry the damn thing out of here whenever they put it back together they it looks like they never took the clips out to clean it and if they did they did a very very poor job on top of that look at this pin it's seized completely and then this one right here I can actually take it the boot doesn't do anything anymore and this thing is so loose inside this hole that you can just keep pulling dust part or rust out of this it's been wearing and wearing and wearing but that's beside the point it's got a little wear to it it's really really loose it's gonna make a little bit of noise if it's dry when they clean these they never cleaned everything out of here just trash trash workmanship look at the face of this rotor every time you touch the brakes it just over and over and over again brand new rotors whoever did this job these damn things won't even move holy shit whoever did this job did a very 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 poor job and now I had to bite the bullet on the front ones last time because uh, I had to cut my labor to make sure this mother was taken care of because she didn't have a lot of money to spend on the vehicle because she gave all her money to her husband to trust somebody to do it and this is the work that they did well now a month later she's back again and I'm gonna have to fix the situation somehow and uh, just terrible shoddy work man this is just shit work that makes mechanics look bad So I've got rotor cut. When I'm reusing old brakes, I actually add this texture to this rotor. It's my way of doing it. If I'm using somebody else's old shit, it really helps me out, get these to seat in better. And then pads freed up, clean the surface brushed over with a piece of uh, 180, and then slide pins moving. Get everything put back together, go burnish the, well, go set the brakes in, and then uh, go from there, yeah. When somebody wants me to do the job and they don't want me to do the job correctly and replace everything and they just want to get by with the minimum one hour, take it all apart, clean it, which is probably going to take me more like an hour and a half to two hours. This is how I have to do it. Uh, I've had them leave with just a regular cut surface and they still make noise. I cut them like this and... Uh, even the used car guy, whenever we get uh, wholesale stuff and things like that, he will, he'll cut them the same way. It just makes them quieter, and after you know, 500, 500 miles or whatever, it's back to normal. It brushes through the surface, and you've you got a good, nice pad seating. Another thing that I noticed is this guy doesn't have this clocked properly. You can see here, whoever did it, you see that spot right there where it's been contacted in the back of the brake? It's clocked completely wrong. These channels need to actually open up with the top right here and the bottom down here. With that little tab, they need to line up and that's how they go back on. So this, whoever did this break is a fucking idiot. And she tells me it's a guy at this independent shop down the road here that her husband took it to. Okay, one down, one more to go.
I hate doing just the minimum, but unfortunately in some situations, you've got to do the best version of the minimum that you can do to make the customer happy, keep them safe, but yet not fuck yourself over at the same time. And unfortunately, I lose my ass on jobs like this because other jobs don't know how to do what the hell they're supposed to do or other shops. And this is far too often we get stuff in at the dealer where people don't have special tools or they're rushing or their husband knew somebody at an independent shop or another dealer and they did them a favor and this is the favor that they do a shit job and just just inexcusable just really terrible makes us look bad makes mechanics look bad and this lady's probably got a bad taste in her mouth now because of what happened and she probably hates all mechanics because of this idiot whoever did this look at this one too the guy doesn't even have the piston sitting right so it's not even clocked to the back of the brake pad so now I'm gonna have to fix it yep I will go ahead and uh, fix this and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's clocked it's got a pin in the back of it on the back of the brake pad That, that has to align to I can't believe a shop did this man this is almost it's almost I don't know let me know what you guys think I don't know if a, I don't know if a shop did this because typically shops know about this this doesn't seem like a shop this seems like I'm getting told a story the more I get into this the more I don't the more I think there's somebody else outside of a shop that did this because I don't think a shop would have done bad work like this this is this is shit work it's BB5Z 17526 Charlie and you just gotta, you, you grab a wrench and you just move it little by little by little until the assembly starts to, you just keep moving it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and you don't put an impact on it. You know, it's hard for me to believe that a shop would do something like that, but then again, it's it's possible. Because I went out again and I said, are you sure? I told her, I said, are you sure your husband took this to a shop? And she said, yeah, it's just right down the street here, right by the muffler place. And I was like, you know, they didn't even clock the pistons inside the caliper right to actually sit up against the brake pad properly. And she said, I don't, I'm so upset with what happened. And she said, I don't know why my husband took it to them. And I said, well, I don't either, but, you know, it's right. And then she said, can you actually replace the rear wiper blade? And they said that they fixed it by putting a new nut on it. And I go back there and they got the wiper blade on the wrong side. They got it clocked at the close position instead of the, the start or the end position instead of the start position. And I'm like, I, I don't understand people. I just don't understand why people would even attempt to fix somebody else's vehicle if you know you're doing a shitty job or you don't know what you're doing. Because you give the rest of people that actually work with their hands, professional or not professional, that are good at what they do, a bad name and it, it makes no sense and then we have to fix it and we have to lose our ass because of your selfishness when you probably in the beginning charged the customer a lot of money to begin with and then didn't even do the job right and then I have to put out the fire so the ladies stuff is working properly and she didn't want to replace the wiper blade I told her it was torn in the center but she don't have a lot of money so she said if you could just please put the wiper blade back on I didn't charge her any labor to get the old one off and put the new one on I charged her only half the labor to clean the brake pads and stuff up and cut the rotors normally it's a two hour job to cut rotors clean the hardware and stuff put new brake pads um, it's an hour and a half to replace pads and rotors so you don't and then just do the basic cleaning to get everything you know up to spec but what I did was I had to pull all the hardware apart get everything freed up, clean everything up, grease everything up, cut the rotors, take the pads over to my bench and get a piece of 180 out and run the pads back and forth. And I opened up the channel in the center of the brake pad quite a bit because there was so much debris and shit that was caught up in there. It was hard and wouldn't come out. So I opened it up just a hair, cleaned the channel and stuff out, re-greased everything, put it all back together and no squeaks, no braking issue, no nothing at all. The lady is back on the road safely. I had to cut the rotors a very particular way to really cut into the surface of the pad to make it mate properly and we find that this specific rotor and pad setup that they used it it does make noise if it's not if you don't cut the rotor a specific way to get it to mate 
and um, there's on this one specific brand this is how we this is how I'll treat these rotors after I'm done lathing them I'll actually take a, like a hundred grit or 120 grit whatever it is and I'll I'll leave it on the machine spinning and I'll start at one point and I'll just move my way straight out and it'll actually etch the surface a little more aggressive so it really bites into the pad and you get a little bit more uh, you know wear the first like three to five hundred miles ish but after that just like I did the rotors on my car because my rotors have been cut like three times um, I use the same method and within 300 miles 400 miles 500 miles it's back to look, looking like it's a factory style and you get a little bit extra wear those first few hundred miles but it's minute and it really helps break the pads and rotor set together mate properly whenever you're reusing old stuff that you really typically don't like to do but I try to look out for the customers and, and make people happy and I know guys are gonna trash me on this video but, but because of how I did this I, I could give a shit less that's that's fine uh, this is my work this is me putting the customers back on the road safely and looking out for them and not taking four or five hundred dollars to fix somebody else's screw up. It's going to be a hundred and fifty dollars for all the work I did today and no more. And I did two, two hours, two and a half hours worth of work and she's going to pay for one hour. I get her back on the road. It's just mechanics need to stop doing shit work. This is why we all have a bad name. Anyway. I'll be blessed.